Breaking news out of Alaska where that report uh, involving Sarah Palin has now been released. A legislative committee investigating the governor has said she unlawfully abused her authority in firing the state's public safety commissioner. This was an investigation that began in July when Walter Monaghan, who was in charge of public safety, uh, was essentially terminated by Governor Palin. And then he reported that the reason he felt he had been fired was because he had not dismissed Palin's brother-in-law, who had been involved in a very nasty custody dispute with uh, Palin's uh, sister uh, over the last two years. That prompted an investigation which Sarah Palin said that she welcomed and that she would cooperate with. And then when she was named John McCain's running mate, she decided she would not cooperate. The McCain campaign tried to squash subpoenas to many members of her staff. But again, this report out tonight says that, in fact, there were more than 19 different phone calls from Governor Palin, her husband Todd, her gubernatorial staff, as part of the effort to pressure Public Safety Commissioner Walter Monaghan to fire Palin's brother-in-law. There is one glimmer of possible good news in this for Sarah Palin, and that is the investigative report concludes that a family grudge, the family grudge wasn't the sole reason for firing Monaghan, but says it was a contributing factor. And the fact that the report now says that it was a contributing factor to Palin's decision to fire Walter Monaghan, that undercuts what Sarah Palin has been saying for the last several months. Joining us now from Anchorage, Alaska, Michael Carey is a columnist for the Anchorage Daily News. And Michael, a welcome. Bring us up to date on what you've been able to uh, determine after thumbing through this report that's just been released. Well, the report has just been released. Thank you for having me. And I spent all day waiting for it to come out, like all the rest of the reporters, and haven't seen it. So essentially, the, the broad outline is news to me. Uh, the important thing I think uh, readers or viewers should understand right away is the committees that release this are bipartisan committees. This is not like Washington, where one party or the other is in control. The legislators who release this are bipartisan. The Senate of the Senate president is a Republican. The chairman of the Judiciary Committee is a Democrat. So in other words, you have a bipartisan commission that is signing off on a report that says essentially Sarah Palin broke state law. I don't know if it, it yes, I, I, I gather that's correct. The important thing to realize is it's not surprising they could come to this conclusion because of the amount of time, effort, and intensity over a period of years the Palins invested in somehow getting Trooper Wooten fired. And it's important to remember he's a member of the classified personnel. He's a union member. He's not an employee who could just be fired at will. It's very unusual by any standard. And again, I should clarify, this was a legislative investigation, so even their conclusion that she broke state law does not mean any sort of immediate criminal charges. But doesn't this open the door? No, there'd be a record that doesn't this open the door to there possibly yeah. being either, you know, a, a, a prosecutor taking a look at this or at the very least, doesn't this give great fuel to Walter Monaghan if he wants to now file a lawsuit against Governor Palin? That could be true. He is an at-will employee, but uh, that doesn't, uh, you know, he could be removed uh, uh, if she wanted to make changes, as she said she did. But his, he does retain his civil rights. He is, you know, does have those rights under the Constitution, and presumably he could exercise them if they were violated here. Where does this go next? I think the clear thing is it's going to be intensely political and uh, it's going to be in the presidential race and all over the United States, the, the kind of headline that you suggested. If I could uh, make one thing clear to the viewers, I think that's really important, and that is this is another example of the trouble the Palins have had of separating their personal life from their, from their political life. The per diem, the living in the, at home and accepting money from the state, uh, uh, the use of uh, their private email accounts for state business. These are all examples of how the Palins, Sarah and Todd, have had a very difficult time separating the personal from the professional. And Michael, just to be clear, I mean, the Palins had a choice. This summer, Sarah Palin could have come out and said, yeah, you know what? I didn't like that trooper. I didn't like uh, what he did to my sister. So, of course, that was a factor in why I tried to get rid of him. But she didn't say that. She said, no, I got rid of him because I wanted to move the department in another direction or because he did some things that weren't under my authority, even though we found out later they were. She had the choice off the start, off the bat, to say, yeah, I didn't like this guy and he deserved to be fired. Instead, by saying no, it was all these other reasons, that where, that's where she set herself up for problems, right? 
That's absolutely correct. And clearly, when she became candidate for vice president, everything changed. The people who were running her campaign uh, entered into this, uh, into Troopergate. And I think they made it a much, much bigger issue than it would have been if she said, as her husband has said, that I was concerned about my family. I want to defend and protect my family. If I went too far, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Michael Carey, columnist for the Anchorage Daily News. Michael, thanks for talking with us. And again, finding number one from this report that came out tonight, the legislature reaffirms that each public office public officer holds office as a public trust and any effort to benefit a personal or financial interest through official action is a violation of that trust. And again, a bipartisan board All in right, Alaska well, said... for you. Yeah, a bipartisan group uh, of legislators in Alaska said that Sarah Palin has violated that public trust.